Hello everyone, welcome to the new video on Gradients Plus. In this video, I am going to discuss an important topic uh, from logical reasoning for CAT that is problems related point picking games. So first let us understand about the concept and then we will solve two questions based on the same. But before starting, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you. So let's understand what are the types of question you can expect from this concept. So first concept is last one to pick wins the game. So let's take an example. A and B are playing a game. And in the first type, the person who is picking the last coin wins the game. So let's take, let's read this question. So A and B are playing a game in which they have to select n number of coins. n can be anywhere between 1 and 5, both inclusive. Uh, there are total 31 coins. The last one who picks a coin wins the game. So how many coins A should pick in the beginning to ensure his win? So this is the question. So if you are new to this concept, make sure you pause the video and give it a try. So let's start with the first type. So this is the first question that we are going to discuss that last one to pick coins wins the game. So in this case, we have two players A and B and we have total 31 coins. Now any player can pick n number of coins. Now n can be anywhere between 1 and 5, both inclusive. So n can be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. And A is starting the game. And the question is, how many coins should A pick to ensure that he wins the game? That means he is picking the last coin. Right? Now for such question, uh, I will explain how the concept works. And then at the end, I will also give a shortcut formula to solve such questions. The reason I am not starting with the shortcut formula is students basically they mug up the formula. They don't know how it actually works. And if in CAT exam, if they tweak the question, then the formula won't apply. So to solve such questions, always start with a smaller number. So let's take an example that there are only five coins. Let's take a hypothetical uh, example in which we have only five coins and A, are, A and B are playing. A is starting a game. How many coins he will he pick to be the winner? He will pick five coins and he will win the game because he is going to be the last one to pick the coins, right? So this is pretty much straightforward. What happens if there are six coins? So in the second case where we have six coins, let's take an example. A picks one coin. So now we have five coins. Now can B pick five out of five? Yes, and he will win the game. But we don't want that. B as in A. A doesn't want that. A wants to win the game. So how many coins should he pick to win a game in case there are six coins? Answer to this question is he cannot win the game. No matter how many coins he pick, he will not be the last one to pick the coin and B will always win. That means 6 is the that means 6 is the number for which A is losing a game. So that's why I have written it in a red color. So 6 is the number. So let's uh, look at number 7. So let's take a next example wherein we have 7 coins. Now suppose A picks 1 coin. How many coins remain? 6 coins. Now no matter how many coins B picks because we know that in the second case when we had six coins no matter did how many coins a pick he was on losing side the same case will happen to b this time since we have six coins and it's b's turn so no matter how many coins b picks he will be on the losing end that means a will win the game so what this concept tells me that if on a player's turn we have six coins he will always lose right so can we get a pattern over here that means all the numbers, all the multiples of 6 will ex exhibit the same property. So suppose there are 12 coins and A is starting the game, he will lose. If there are 18 coins and A is starting the game, he will lose. So what A needs to do, what A needs to do in order to win the game, he will have to pick smartly in such a way that he needs to leave 6 coins or 6k coins on the table when B's turn is there right 
A needs to pick smartly in order to leave 6k coins when B's turn is there. So how many coins do we have? We have 31 coins. So can I represent 31 in the form of 6k plus 1? So if A smartly picks only one coin in the first turn, how many coins remains on the table? 6k coins, in, in this case 30. That means no matter how many coins B picks afterwards, you will always end up on the losing end. Hence, the answer to this question is 1. A will pick 1 coin in the beginning to ensure his win. I hope you understand the concept. So to understand shortcut, first the minimum and the maximum number of n. Minimum number of n can be 1 and maximum can be 5. Now if you add minimum and maximum you get 6. Now you divide the total number of coins in this case which, which is 31 by this number whatever remainder the, you get would be your answer. So in this case 31 divided by 6 the remainder is 1 hence A should pick 1 coin in the beginning to ensure his win. So I hope uh, the last one to pick wins the game concept is clear. Now we will move on to the second concept in which the person who is picking last is losing the game and let's see how to tackle that. So let us look at this second concept in which the person who is picking the last coin is losing the game. So let us read the question first. A and B are playing a game in which they have to select n number of coins. Now n can be anywhere between 1 to 11 and both are inclusive. Now total number of coins are 126 and the last one who is picking a coin loses the game. Now how many coins should A pick in the beginning to ensure he is winning a game? Let me just explain you the concept using smaller numbers. Let us let us take an example wherein we have 11 coins. Yeah, So we have 11 coins, we have two players A and B. So how many coins will A pick in the beginning to ensure he is winning? He will pick 10 coins. He will pick 10 coins, the remaining coin has to be picked up by B, hence B will lose the game and A will win the case. That means 11 for 11 it is pretty much straightforward. What happens if we have 12 coins? So for 12 coins, A will pick 11 coins, right? Because we can pick between 1 to 11, so A can pick 11, the remaining one has to be picked up by B and again A wins the game. What happens when there are 13 coins? When there are 13 coins, so let's say A pick 10 coins. So if A is picking 10 coins, we have 3 coins remaining. Now B will play smartly and he will pick only 2 coins. If Now if B is picking 2 coins, the remaining coin has to be picked up by A. Hence A will lose the game. Now you can try various combinations but you will find that whenever you have 13 coins, the player who is starting a game will always end up losing the game. Correct. Now in a similar fashion, you can go on and you can find the pattern. But in exam, it is very tedious and it is very time consuming to find a pattern, right? So we have a shortcut. But before stating the shortcut, I wanted to explain the concept, basically how it works. So that if there is a twist in the exam, in the similar question, you can work your way out. Now how to do this question using the shortcut? Let us look at that. So to solve this question, again, same minimum we have so minimum n we have 1 and maximum we have 11 so just add them up you will get 12 so for all the numbers of the form of 12k plus 1 the player who is starting a game is always going to lose the game like we have just seen the number 13 was the cause for a to lose the game now no matter how many coins he picked he will end up losing the game if there are 13 coins on the table so we can generalize this by saying that 12k plus one number of coins if there are on the table the person or the player who is starting a game will always lose the game now if a has to win the game how many coins he will leave on the table when b's turn is there 12k plus one now a will play smartly and a will keep 12k plus one number of coins on the table so that for the B's turn, no matter how many coins he picks, he will end up on the losing side. So let us find the remainder first for 126 when we divide by 
12. So 126 divided by 12, the remainder is 6. So can we write 126 as 12k plus 6? Yes. So these many number of coins we have on the table and these many number of coins A needs to leave on the table after his turn in order to win the game. Now how many coins he will pick? Now we have 6 and we have 1. Take the difference 6 minus 1, 5 coins needs to be picked up. Um, now the question based on the coin picking uh, did not come in the last 3-4 years of the cat. So we can expect a similar question if not exactly the same questions in this or might be next year's cat. So I hope the concept is clear and if you have any queries regarding this question or concept you can comment below and I shall get back to you. And if you have liked this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.